In this video, we will learn how to professionally retouch skin in Photoshop CC 2015.5. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials. Let's start our work. We will create two copies. Click and drag this on a new layer icon twice. So it will generate two copies. We will hide first copy, select the second copy, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Very nice. And we will fix this as eight or six. Maybe six is much better. So we will apply six. We just need to hide a little details. So maybe it should be eight. Yes, eight. So it okay. Now turn on the second layer, select the second layer go to image apply image from this we will go to layer and merge this to copy layer copy background to sorry background copy from here we will change blend mode to subtract and when you will do it, when you are doing it first time the settings will be different so don't be worry about, don't be worried about that you just need to scale it to 2% and the offset should be 128 each and every time so maybe you should need uh, to set these settings at first time while you will press ok and it will save the settings you don't need to remember the settings so for every image you just need to remember this setting 2 and offset is 128 so hit ok nice so change this blending mode to linear light so press shift and hold your shift key select these both layers press ctrl g from your dex, uh, keyboard and it will merge them into a group so open this group select the background copy second layer and select your lasso tool and the feather should be 20 percent it will be zero percent so we will change it to 20 percent so it will create a uh, soft edge so don't be worried about that so click and select the area which you want to be apply so don't select uh, all the area at once just a little area okay so we have created our selection but before we finish this press shift and add more area nice Okay, so go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Now, pick the slider to the maximum point. While you are picking this, you will see that the skin is being converted into a very, very nice uh, fixed edge, but make it uh, 70. So it could be more clean image. So 70, hit OK. Now press Ctrl D. You can see that it is very very nicely fixed so we will do it on whole the skin but the setting for blur is not same like if you have this this type of area where there is not not too much uh, this type of uh, uh, what we can say that wrinkles or these type of things you just need to uh, use lower setting like select this area go to filter blur Gaussian blur and turn it down like uh, maybe 20 nice so hit ok now I think you got what I am going to tell you or what I am going to teach you so select this area from the chin nice now go to filter blur Gaussian blur check the settings where they look so nice uh, maybe it could be
yes it's uh, 45 so hit ok press ctrl D sorry for the traffic nice now we will do it on whole the image so to save your time I will do it quickly settings are same don't worry about that just select the area don't select the hairs we will select it later just select the area you have selected this go to filter blur and Gaussian blur there check where it looks uh, start from the minimum then take it to the maximum where it looks nice to you like on 50 press ok and boom it will apply it on your image so we will quickly do that without wasting your time okay so you have seen that it is pretty much nicely done uh, we just need uh, we just have some little uh, marks here so you will fix them with this tool select this upper one nice and it's done cool now press ctrl shift alt plus e and press uh, go to filter camera raw filter basically the tutorial is finished but i just want to give a little shine to this face to it will more make it more look like more interesting so increase the contrast a little bit not too much and increase the exposure maybe plus 0 0.15 and uh, yeah hit ok now go to filter sharpen yeah sharpen the skin and this is it this is what we were going to make let me just show you the before and after preview this is before and this is after so you can do a lot more good things with this uh, technique so I will suggest you that use high definition images uh, for your for this type of work if you are using low quality images it will uh, definitely work it will not I will not say that it will fail but uh, high definition images will show you more uh, attractive results and uh, on low le low quality images it will work fine don't worry about that you can just apply uh, try it yourself it will be easy for you guys and if you like my work if you like this tutorial please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel so it will be good for me to make more tutorials we will meet in our next video take care and keep learning